The year was 2013 when commercial drones made their stunning debut into the U.S. marketplace and began to change the way data is collected, providing opportunity for even greater precision in agriculture. Farmers utilize data collected by drones to gain site-specific information that allows them to manage inputs, maximize yields, and reduce overhead cost. Yet access to commercial drone technology has been a challenge in the United States. Through conversations with the Federal Aviation Administration, agriculturalists have been able to gain some traction regarding the use of drones, but it's been limited. Other nations, such as Australia, Canada, the United Kingdom, France, and Japan have surpassed the U.S. by embracing this new technology. Some nations have been using unmanned aircraft systems or drones to apply crop protection materials and fertilizers safely to crops for over 20 years. U.S. agriculture has been working to take advantage of the revolutionary technology, but for those who choose to venture into using drones commercially, the regulatory framework can seem daunting. Drones currently fall under the jurisdiction of the law governing model aircraft operations, which states they can be used for recreational purposes only. The FAA, recognizing the growing demand for commercial drone use, does grant case-by-case -case authorization for certain unmanned aircraft to perform commercial operations through a Section 333 exemption. As of June 5, 2015, 524 had been approved nationally, with 48 specifically for ag-related use. Jason Hugo is a Michigan native and owns and operates GoFarm LLC, an unmanned aircraft system service using drones to help farmers be better and more efficient at what they do. He received his exemption on April 22nd of this year. That exemption allows us to fly within some certain constraints. We're required to have a uh, licensed pilot on site operating the drone, a visual observer on site um, as a backup for the pilot, um, we're limited to 400 feet in the air, uh, above ground level is how high we can fly the drone. We're not allowed to fly at nighttime and we must maintain visual line of sight. There are concerns over what the FAA is coming up with in terms of rules and regulations regarding the use of drones in agriculture, whether it's height restrictions, pilot licensing requirements, purchasing guidelines, distance limits, private property or data ownership, Michigan's farmers have been actively engaged. Michigan Farm Bureau submitted comments during the FAA's open comment period showing support for aspects of the regulations and offering alternatives for other portions. Jeff Vanderwerf is involved in fruit and grain production in Kent and Ottawa counties. He testified before the U.S. Senate Transportation Subcommittee on Aviation Operations, Safety and Security in early 2015. He stressed the positive impact flexible performance-based regulations can have on commercial drone use. We discussed, uh, you know, the need for having UAVs in agriculture, having some flexibility in terms of the regulation, you know, some common sense reforms, things that actually make sense to farmers and ranchers and not necessarily to the FAA or to the government. And then also talking about some of the data concerns, some of the privacy concerns. If uh, we're going to send UAVs over a farm, whether it's by uh, a private company or whether it's, uh, you know, USDA wanting to start using this technology, I want to know how it's going to be used. And that data that's generated off my farm, um, you know, we could, within the next couple of years, I think very easily be sending UAVs over the countryside and determining crop yields over huge portions of the Corn Belt. Well, if, uh, you know, if, if you have a company that can do that, that, that data could be worth billions of dollars in the commodity markets uh, you know, when, when the grain traders are looking for estimates. So I just want to make sure as a farmer and rancher that my data is adequately protected and that my privacy is protected. A few questions to consider when thinking about the future of drones and how they impact agriculture. How do we protect privacy rights and determine how data from drones is utilized and who owns that data? With organizations such as Climate Corp embracing the use of satellite imagery, will drones soon be irrelevant? And should drones and their use be regulated and monitored at a federal or state level? The FAA's long-anticipated adoption of rules to permit the widespread commercial use of drones have the potential to equip American farmers and ranchers with a revolutionary, safe, and cost-effective new technology that will enhance their everyday activities. Ag producers should not be forced to wait years to fully unlock the potential of drones for helping them plow, plant, fertilize, or apply crop protection materials. In order for American agriculture to maintain a competitive advantage, it's imperative that the FAA's final rule be sufficiently flexible to allow them to leverage rapidly evolving drone technology safely and without delay.